My nigga so cocky, he indifferent, he dame dash ignorant, but I refuse to be your mistress. He cocky, he indignant, he different, he dame dash ignorant, but I refuse to be your mistress. I refuse to live in de-stress, not even for a D or dress. Little baby cocky, he indifferent, he dame dash ignorant, I refuse to be a mistress. Usually, mistresses are mysteries, and I'm a full-fledged novel, baby, it's thriller, Mike Jackson type thriller. Page turn up, and here's a clue, baby's in the library with a burn eye. This sales cat too good to be fucking undercover. This kitty fight back, she bite back, she fuck back. She prefer a raw with no Jimmy hat. Just don't come in me, and little nigga, you can't hit that. My daddy is so ignorant, he Kanye West persistent. When I'm mad, it's 200 roses, and couture closes, protect on my wrist. Yo bitch get happy over dipping dots, but the only ice cream, that ice cream, is ice me. Ice me, that new protect, I likey. That Rolex, he brought me. <gasps> A new Cuban link, thank you daddy. Ooh, daddy dick, daddy dick, daddy dick. Up and down on your stick. I will make you cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Ice me, ice me. That new Patek, I like it. That Rolex, he bought me. That Lambo, he got me. But this pussy a hell cat, and she bite back, she fuck back. And I know that you like that. And he's so cocky, he indignant, he dame dash different. He Kevin Gates persistent. The type to say, you fuck with me, you mine. Well, daddy, listen here. Hey, I'm boy. not a bitch to stand in line. Because what you don't know, nigga, you fuck with me, you mine. I don't stand in line. Heart murmur, boy. You fuck with me, you mine. I don't stand in line. You fuck with me, you mine. But I guess that's not good. This hell can't go for bottles, so baby, can Don't run. Don't run. Don't make me get my gun. Don't leave. Just talking. Baby boy, don't run. Don't run. Don't make me get my gun. This hell cat, she fight back. She bite back. She fuck back. Baby boy, don't run. Don't run. Don't make me get my gun. I spend his money just for fun. Don't run. what's up you guys it's your girl baby back again and i wanted to go ahead and bring y'all a quick video in regard to how to take back your energy after you've had it drained out of you either from a really fucked up relationship contract disputes going to court or just whatever or any other issue that was meant to kind of like deplete your self-esteem some of y'all have been to prison okay and i'm talking to y'all that have been imprisoned or in or in prison in some type of way whether it was a mental prison or the actual you know federal prisons and all that kind of stuff down with those whatever if you've been in there and in some type of way there was some type of structure of someone else trying to make you either feel uh bad about yourself trying to make you feel like you were less than this video is for you and how you can go about taking back your energy what's up you guys it's your girl baby back again and i wanted to give you guys this quick video in regards to how to take back your energy one day at a time. Uh, for those of y'all that don't really know me like that, I will tell you briefly, uh, I came on the scene back in 2020 on Twitter. I started out on Twitter back when Twitter was Twitter. My twi my Twitters. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. My titties was on Twitter. Why is that significant? It isn't. Listen, some of y'all have gone through like the ringer as it pertains to just raggedy ass people trying to make your life a little harder than it had to be because they are just bitter, angry, jealous, resentful, uh, hateful, <laughs> okay, demonic, whatever you want to call it. All of those low vibrational energies that certain people carry around with them. Uh, some of y'all are drained and depleted because of situations like that coming in and sucking the life out of you.
But let me tell you something. If you learn to find equilibrium, even in spite of all of that, your energy will go from being up to up to infinity and beyond. The first thing that you really have got to do in order to like work your way around what it is that the enemy is doing to attack you is to find neutrality in it. You don't give a fuck what them people say. You don't give a fuck about the outcome because at the end of the day, God know. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Not these raggedy ass people or whoever else. And so the first thing you got to do in order to take back your energy and take back your time is to find peace in knowing it don't matter what the outcome is going to be. My daughter's back home, so I got to finish this video at a later Bite time. Back. She fuck back. <laughs> Little baby definitely won't her lick back. I'm so cocky. I'm indignant. I'm different. I'm baby girl ignorant. I want a divorce. Because I can't force a relationship. I won't read your mind. But this ain't that type of shit. I ain't that kind of party. He break bathroom doors like party. Baby girl is cocky. I'm indifferent. Baby girl is ignorant. His money, I spent it. Ice cream. Ice cream, ice me, ice me, that new Patek, I like he. <laughs> I want a divorce, but I will settle for a new Porsche. My heart, he got it. My heart, honestly, like a locket. And with that knowledge, he's so cocky, he indifferent, he damn dash ignorant. My nigga go gay goofy over this pussy, he'll shut a nigga down. Plus he stays ten toes down and he buys me broken bags so I never wear a frown. Plus he helped me fix my crown. So I pays no attention to the opinions of these sheep. Cause little Bo Peep, bitch, you ain't gon' say a peep. Or else it's rock a bite, baby, bitch, I'll put your ass to sleep. He's my nigga, bitch, you leave. This was another Snarky Black Girl production. Like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all of my socials. Snarky Black Girl, girl with a U, not with an I hope. He is so cocky, he indifferent, he dang dash ignorant. Like magic fucking mic. And his money, I spent it. His dick, I licked it. Like at the dentist, I spit on it. Bust it wide like I'm at the gynecologist. My eye on you like I'm at the optometrist. See that pretty boy?